Hey everyone, a quick message about your angels. I was just tipped off by a reader, listener, uh, from Ireland actually, about a woman named Lorna Byrne who has been able to see angels supposedly since very young age and has written several best-selling books on angels. And so I went and got one of her books called Angels in My Hair. And she's talking about how she can see we all have a guardian angel and then we all that there are all these other angels but because of free will they don't intervene unless they are asked unless they are called upon so because so many people don't utilize the angelic realm there are all these floating angels that are unemployed which is such a sad thought if you think about it um and since most if not 99.999% of the people can't see the angels. Well, there are a few gifted folks who can, but you know, how do we know to call on them? So this woman, Lorna, was talking about how she was, there's so many great stories in the book, but one of them was that she was discussing that the angels told her to keep an eye on a little girl, just keep an eye on her, keep an eye on her, but she was working and it was hard for her to keep an eye on her. There was this sale and all these women were going towards the sale rack and unfortunately somebody pulled a piece off of the hanger and the hanger caught in the girl's eye and almost poked her eye out, literally. But she could see the angel swooping in and holding this girl's eye in place, which is just such a powerful thought. And uh, while of course it was painful and awful and traumatic, the eye was saved and so they can't always completely stop disaster from happening, but they can alleviate some of the pain, which is interesting. And there's also specialty angels. We've talked about this in my spiritual social clubs with Susan Rowland. We've talked about this in my podcast with Kate Raymond, uh, but there are specialty angels for grief or for fi financial support or focus, um, love, whatever it might be, just calling on the specialty angels and delegating them with a certain task. So if you find yourself struggling and you've got nothing else to lose, call on the angelic realm, open your heart to the possibility that there is help. Give an angel a job, damn it.